Now, an atheist can be defined as someone who chooses to believe against the idea of a deity. Not all atheists are against the idea that there is a god. Atheism is a lack of belief in a god and of evidence that there is a god. Me lacking belief in something does not necessarily mean that I am against it. But the problem is there's a lot of atheists out there that like to make bold claims. You are absolutely right. There are a lot of atheists out there in the world who love to make bold claims. But you know what's ironic? There are a lot of stupid Christians who also like to make bold claims. They say things like, there is no God, or there is no evidence for a God. Well, let me show you why that claim does not work. Let me show you why that claim does not work. See, in order for someone to make such a definitive statement, they would have to have complete knowledge of everything. Because let's face it, let's say if you knew half of everything, well, maybe God exists in the other half of everything that you don't know. So, complete knowledge is a must. <laughs> complete knowledge is a must. And of course, complete knowledge is what we call omniscience. And omniscience is uh, an attribute of God. So, in order to make the claim that there is no God, or there is no evidence of God, one would have to be a God. So, in order to make the claim that there is a God, and that there is evidence for God, one would have to be a God. And therefore, there is a God. Wait, what? That made no logical, coherent, uh, uh, s s uh, that, that, I'm speechless. I don't know, I don't know how you got to the conclusion that therefore there's a God simply because an atheist does not believe in a God and because in order to know that a God does not exist, you have to be all knowing, therefore there is a God. Uh, 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 there is a ma there's such a big flaw in your argument here that, uh, if you were not a Christian and I were not, was not a Christian, I would like to call you some names right now because what you're saying is complete and utter stupidity. You are the type of Christian that atheists and the uh, and theists, including myself, I'm a theist, I believe in God, I believe in the Bible, laugh at. You wonder why Thunderfoot makes videos why we laugh at creationists? It's because of you. It's because of people like you who get on the camera and make illogical fallacies like you've done that make no coherent logical sense at all. Your premises don't even line up. It, it, it infuriates me when I see Christians who are this stupid. And I'm not saying that I'm not stupid. I've been stupid before. I've made mistakes. I've made arguments that didn't make any sense. I've done that plenty of times throughout my life. But you're not, you're, but you are certainly not using your brain, you are certainly not using critical thinking. Something that I highly esteem in all religions, in all belief systems, in everything, is critical thinking. And that is something I don't see in this argument that you have. Or in most of your videos, I've watched quite a few of your videos on your channel, I'm actually subscribed to you, and I, I honestly don't know if I should watch your videos for comic relief, or because they're just so bad that I'm, I'm laughing at them. And again, you're a Christian brother in Christ, so I'm not going to use ad hominem attacks or attack your character at, or individuality as a Christian, but you have some problems, like logical problems. I, you are giving Christianity a bad name. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you are going to use an argument for the existence of God, at least study people like William Lane Craig, who is a theologian and who has a PhD and makes arguments for the existence of God. At least study him so you can actually know how to argue for the existence of God instead of making yourself look like to be an ignorant and then we all laugh at you. And I'm not laughing be because I want, I'm trying to be mean, I'm laughing because your argument is truly redunculous, like terrible. Doesn't make any sense. Hope you're watching this video, and I hope you that you try to re-examine your thought processes when arguing for the existence of God. Thank you, and have a nice day.